So there are 4 new augments out now, they are specifically for Ivara, Harrow, Nidus and Octavia, they have their own uses, strengths and weaknesses and, this video will try to explain every one of them, and I will try to share my thoughts also on whether these new augments are worth having or not, just remember, the opinions you'll hear here are only based on my own experience and you may have a different perspective about these new mods, so, feel free to comment your thoughts below. Who knows, you might know something that we don't know yet. Ok, let's begin this video. The first one we'll discuss is the augment for Octavia called Partition Mallet, basically, what this augment does it gives you the ability to have two mallets active at the same time, but the downside is, each mallet's range is lowered by 50%, the good side of having two mallets at the same time is that two smaller mallets can cover more ground, and also give you the option to cover two separate doors for example, in addition, this augment does provide you the ability to overlap your mallets which results to double damage, however, just remember that you can't put another mallet inside the radius of an active mallet. The range is not really a big issue as you can cast your amp ability anyway to widen its radius, in my case, I have 13 meters radius for my mallet which can be widened up to 26 meters when I cast amp, this is probably the best way to overlap these mallets and do double damage to the enemies, so, is the mod worth the one slot, it's worth trying but not really a must. The double damage it gives is pretty good that every Octavia player must try this mod but, it's not actually that necessary at all, you may find it useful in some scenario but, it's really up to you if you are willing to reserve one mod slot for this augment. Now let's proceed to Ivara's new augment called Empowered Quiver. Now this augment is for her quiver ability and it has two uses, one is that it provides immunity to every status effects when you have cloaked arrow or you are inside the ability. But my question is, do you really need immunity when you are invisible? Well, it's probably useful when dealing with those venomous enemies or when you are hit by slash damage but probably, there are other ways to deal with those things, while using Ivara. I don't usually depend on cloak arrow as prowl is much more useful, the only time I use cloak is when I want to regenerate energy, I really don't see a big help on providing status immunity on cloak arrow, sorry, however, the additional critical damage it gives to your dash wire arrow is pretty insane, the best part is, it scales with power strength, so, the more power strength you have, the more damage you deal, my Rubico is pretty happy with this augment and I'm loving it right now, there's another good synergy that you must try with this augment, and that is Ivara's concentrated arrow, these two augments does synergy really well as it provides a really insane headshot area of effect, now, add hunter munitions on the mix and you will see huge ticks of bleed damage on enemies, overall, Empowered Quiver is a pretty good augment because of its ability to provide more damage in the form of critical damage, however, I find the status immunity for Cloaked Arrow a bit pointless, but hey, at least you got the option now to remove status illness. The third new augment is for Harrow and it's called Warding Thurible, what this augment does is give you and your allies a percentage damage reduction while you are channeling Thurible, in addition, each time you are hit, it grants additional energy charge, now, this augment does scale with power strength and in fact, you can achieve 90% damage reduction when you have at least 225% ability strength on your harrow, conceptually, this ability is pretty good as it allows us to charge thurible if we need to without even hiding, provided that we have 90% damage reduction, also, this augment does synergy really well with arcane aegis and as well as arcane barrier, as the damage reduction does apply on shields, just like Mesa's shatter shield, you are really tanky with this kind of setup but the problem is, Thurible is a channeling ability, 
you will lose energy fast when you decide to use this ability for tanking purposes I tell you, it's not like we got a mod like Rage or Hunter Adrenaline that works for shields to regenerate our energy, now that would be awesome for this part, I really think it's not meant for that purpose anyway, as I think, Digital Extreme Aims introduce this augment mod so that we can cast Thorable without worrying that we will become vulnerable, so in my honest opinion, it's really not worth the slot. The last augment is Phanidus and it's called Insatiable, it's a pretty suiting name for this augment as what it does is provide you with bonus chance of getting additional stacks whenever you gain one, however, there's a condition, you need to be standing on his ravenous ability to gain additional stack. Probably you need a max range lava on your build to pull this one off, as with this kind of setup, you can just pull enemies with your lava and then hit them all with your virulence, but actually, your ravenous ability does also provide you with mutation stack, they may be slower in providing you with stack, but those maggots also help, honestly. I don't find this mod necessary at all as I can stack mutations fast without this bot, I find it really fun to use with Nidus, the ability to have full stack almost every time is really helpful, especially when it comes to long endurance runs, overall, this augment does help make Nidus beyond immortal because of how fast he can stack his mutations right now. So those are the 4 new augments. I'm sorry if I didn't release this video early as I really need to try all of them for a day and a half so I can give you guys all the details you need to know about these new augments, I just hope that I have provided all the nitty gritty details of each augment here in this video, so we reach the end of this video, before you leave, please do me a favor and hit that like button if you enjoy watching this video and find it informative. For those first timers here, you can join our channel by simply clicking that subscribe button, just remember to turn on notifications to receive daily updates from this channel, thank you so much for watching, squad leader signing off.